Hey guys, Vladimir here with DesktopMakes.com and today we're going to go ahead and design a pair of earrings. Uh, not just any earrings, continuing with the Halloween theme, we're going to go ahead and do a pair of witch hat earrings. As you can see, this is a witch hat um, and I went ahead and modeled a, uh, a hole in there so you can go ahead and, uh, you know, put in your a little hoop hangy thingy. Um, as you can see, I'm very well versed in my earring terminology um, but here we go so let's go ahead and give this a shot we'll create a new design here and we'll start with a sketch we'll begin with a sketch and then revolve that to get our basic shape so we'll go to create sketch choose our green blue plane here we'll rotate that a bit and we're gonna make our sketch by using the spline tool so let's reference our origin here so we can um, go out here on the uh, green axis here and choose uh, about or roughly get it to about 12 and then we'll go up to 30 again referencing that um, origin um, go ahead and click the check mark hit escape we're gonna grab the little handle here and uh, just kinda move this about till we get this sort of shape here a little curve click stop sketch and now we're going to go into our create form we're going to click on create form which brings us into our sculpting environment and then we're going to click create and revolve as our profile we're going to choose our spline and our uh, axis we're going to go ahead and choose the blue axis here and click ok i just kept the eight faces uh, in both ways no symmetry okay so uh, first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to double click on this edge here and i'm actually just going to make that a little bit bigger by taking the uh the center scaling tool and just kind of bringing that out just a tad bit okay now i'm gonna start shaping the hat to look something like this um you know you can kind of do your own thing make your own design but i'll let you know a basic approach i'm just going to go ahead and select everything click on edit form and let's, let's get a good view here um, grab a little handle here and just kind of start turning it bring this up just a bit turn it a little bit um, so make sure you have under select that um, your select filters you have select through uh, um, checked because that uh, makes sure or you know, and make sure that the whole when you select, it selects the whole thing all the way around. Um, so, okay, let's kind of continuing. Let's continue with our modeling. I actually undid that because I didn't finish it. So we'll do that. Um, give it a little bit more of a twist here. Maybe come back up. Grab this side bring this out a little bit that looks good you know just give it a little sort of wavy little twist uh, I don't have to get too crazy and we'll click OK next I'm gonna double click to select this uh, loop over here edit form now I'm gonna hold alt and click the arrow down that gives me a complete uh, set of new faces and I'm gonna hold alt again and scale in uh, I believe if you're on a Mac, it's going to be the command key. Um, so hit zero uh, for your um, scaling amounts. That will close off the entire bottom and click OK. All right, so that's everything I wanted to do in the sculpting environment. So I'm going to go ahead and click Finish Form. That's going to bring me back to the modeling environment. Uh, kind of looks like a Hershey kiss right now, um, but we're going to fix that. So we're going to need to make this bottom completely flat um, because we're going to 3D print this. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to create a construction or yeah, basically an offset plane. So construct offset plane and I'm going to grab my origin and reference this bottom uh, plane here. And actually, let's get a good view here. And I'm going to bring this. You can see I can drag it up or down. Um, gonna just turn off the body for a second so you can see it turn it back on I'm gonna get it to about right here uh, click OK and then go to modify split body 
choose my body, choose my splitting tool, which is going to be the plane I just created. Click OK. Go back to bodies, and you can see I have two here. This is the one I don't want, so I'm going to right click and choose remove. Okay, next I want to shell this, but I don't want to shell the whole thing. I want the whole top part of it to, um, you know, to be solid. So I'm going to go ahead and create another construction plane. Uh, I'm going to choose offset plane, reference this guy here, bring it up. And I'm going to get that to about right here. Click OK. Do the same thing I just did. Modify, oops, wrong thing. Uh, modify, split body, choose my body choose my splitting tool click OK okay now I can hide that that body I just created I'm gonna hide my construction planes as well and my origin and I'm gonna go to modify shell choose the bottom let's try that again modify shell choose the bottom here and I'm gonna enter a value of 0 0.88 that's gonna shell out that bottom part um, to 0.8 millimeters um, so I'm gonna click OK and I can bring back that top part and as you can see that didn't get shelled out okay now I don't really want this point up here so I'm actually gonna create another plane to cut that off so we'll go to uh, construct offset plane bring back our construction plane so I can reference it bring this up a little bit and I'm gonna bring it to about right here click OK gonna do our third split body here choose this body choose this plane as our cutting tool click OK and I'm actually just gonna get rid of that top part so I'm gonna right click and go to remove okay now I can go in and actually select this and give it a fillet so F for fillet bring that in as much as it will let me uh, 0 0.8 looks good just type that in uh oh I made it mad ah we're back okay 0 0.8 click OK I don't know what this is low memory no good okay we'll power through so there's my hat one more thing I want to do is create that hole here so in order to do that I'm gonna go ahead and go to sketch create sketch and I'm gonna create a uh, draw a sketch on uh, I could choose any one of these planes I'll just grab this one I don't need to see them all um, so I'm gonna click C for circle and actually I'm gonna grab it right on the origin there I can draw it anywhere here this looks as good of a place as, as any so I'm gonna enter a um, diameter of 1.5 and I'm gonna click stop sketch so as you can see there's my circle and I'm gonna hit E for extrude I'm gonna grab it I'm just gonna bring it down right through my hat and click OK and that's gonna cut that hole right in there which is gonna allow me to um, you know put the, the hangy thingy Okay, so that's actually looking a little um, higher than I wanted it, so I'm going to move it over. Uh, in order to do that, I'm just going to go back um, to my sketch. So last sketch I created was this guy here. Double click on that. And I need to move it, but before I move it, see, it won't let me drag it. I need to get rid of this constraint here. So I'm going to click delete, and now I can actually grab it and move it over a little bit. So I hit stop sketch, and... There you go. I moved it down a little bit. I'm going to go even a little more. Um, so I'm going to go back, move it a little bit more here. Stop sketch. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so I think that's everything I needed to do. Uh, actually, one more thing. I still have two bodies and I want to combine them back to one. So I'm going to go to modify, combine choose this guy and this guy click OK you can see they both now are back to one body um, so to see how this is gonna look when I 3d print it I can go ahead and just uh, type a for parents um, I'm gonna print this in plastic PLA so let's go to plastic and uh, I'm gonna use black because which is hats are usually black so I'm gonna click on that or drag that over 
click close um, and there's my hat so okay that's pretty much it um, last step I would do is just uh, go to make 3d print choose this choose my uh, maker bot here click OK and that should bring it right into my uh, maker bot bed so all right guys um, that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and if you want a great course that teaches you how to design for 3d printing using fusion 360 uh, check out the link below which will take you to my course um, great course very structured um, takes you through easy step-by-step -step instructions on uh, creating 10 different models and you go at your own pace all right take care don't forget to subscribe